Hey guys, today I wanted to address an issue that is becoming more and more prevalent and relevant is the fact that people are selling proxy cards and instead of saying that these cards are real, they are saying that these cards are proxy and by saying that they are proxy, that means I can sell them. Essentially, that is the philosophy of the, this eBay seller as well as many others on Etsy eBay, Craigslist, etc. It used to be they would always try to trick you into buying them as real cards, but the profit margins for selling proxies are also very extreme. These cards are printed at five cents or less, depending on the print run. And to be able to sell 30 of them, let's say this ends up at $10 a piece, five cents into $10 is still amazing margins. It might be even better if they sold them as proxies, because in that way they could sell them at volume instead of just trying to trick someone. So what is the current state of the counterfeits? I will refer to these as counterfeits, but you can refer to them as proxies. It's very bad, and this is the perfect example of how bad it's gotten. This is an eBay seller with 2,400 plus ratings. This is a very, very well-known eBay seller. There's 56 bids on it with a day and 17 hours left. If you're the eBay seller and you're looking at this and it costs you $1.50 to buy this set, which it does, and you can sell it for $202 right now, probably at the end of the day, over $500. Uh, the eBay, the way eBay works is people don't really start bidding until the last few hours. Then why would you, as this mega eBay seller, not continue to sell these quote unquote proxies? The answer is you would do it. You would do it every day as often as you could. And the same can be said about Etsy. Etsy, I don't know what is going on with Etsy, but I've seen so many fake cards. Instead of saying that they are real, they say it's proxy. To the point, it's been almost accepted to the point that certain YouTubers give away proxy cards. Now, they don't advertise it at, as a proxy until later. Uh, the title doesn't suggest it's a proxy, but then during the video, they say, oh, and by the way, this is a proxy, but it looks like a real card, FYI. And that's how they do contests. They give away proxy cards, which cost them five cents. And people don't care. People treat it as if it's a real card. They are excited. And that's the current situation at this time. I, I will, this channel, it's, it's evolved a lot since I first uh, got into discussing counterfeits from I hate counterfeits, counterfeits are the worst, to more of a, you know, this is how, this is the situation and I'm not going to make an opinion about it. The situation is very dire indeed. Um, it is because if proxies become so good you can't recognize them, no one will actually know that they're proxies, right? So it's a, it's a very ironic thing that's going to happen. Proxies will only get better in time. They will only get more and more creative ways to sell them. Right now, a lot of these sellers are not selling them as real. They are selling them as proxies. There are a tremendous amount of sellers on eBay with great reputations selling, quote, proxies. And that's the way to do it right now. Because let's say you pay five cents, you can sell it for $10. That is a margin that is insane. That's insanity for a margin for anything that you're going to do. But for magic, it's okay because it's a black lotus. And it's okay because you said proxy. Now, I don't believe those two are the case. Um, I'm not against using proxies. What I am against is when people buy proxies to sell them as real. And when YouTubers take proxies and they hold contests with them, and the only way that you know it's a proxy is because they mention in the video, but not in the title, that this is a proxy. So there's many creative ways that people are getting around you know, the proxies. Uh, and counterfeits. Uh, one of them is to say upright, say, hey, this is a proxy. I'm selling it as a proxy. But the next buyer may try to sell it or trade it as a real card. And that is my biggest concern is not people using proxies who know that they're proxies, is that people who trade for proxies don't know that they are proxies 
and then they get ripped off and they leave the game. I do not want to touch. I have a lot. The, the problem here is because of my, because of MTG Line, if you go on Alibaba and stuff and you search MTG Line, you will come across a lot of listings for quote unquote proxies. Like the, the problem here is I get a lot of emails from you guys. I get a lot of Facebook messages saying, oh, look at this, look at this, is this real? You know, look at this scammer. And even though I don't want to be involved in it, I have a lot of information from you guys who want me to fact check some of the things. And sometimes I do, but many times I won't even respond to email because it's too much, right? So this is too much. So... I wanted to give you an update on the counterfeit scenario. Very high reputation, people are selling them as proxies. They're not gonna sell them as real anymore. That's not the play, because you can get called out for that. The play is to sell them as proxies. Uh, Etsy, it's all over the place on Etsy. I see that mostly on Etsy. A lot of you have shared probably half a dozen links on Etsy just in the last two weeks. There's a Canadian vendor on Etsy that is just making bank on these proxies. Again, these cost five cents from China to make. I don't know how much they cost it from Canada, but assuming it's like the same thing, it's probably like five cents. At any margin, it's going to be profitable. So the play is not on quality. The play is not on passing them as real. The play is just at volume. And we, you have 56 bids on this, and this is probably going to end up with 100 plus bids from a, a eBay seller with a very high reputation and the eBay seller is practically making 200 plus dollars, maybe $500 on this one sale, and they have access to as many of these proxies as they want on demand, that is what is concerning me. That causes concern to me. Um, now, that's one of the reasons I don't buy Legacy anymore. It's just, for me personally, I don't buy anything without a hologram sticker on it. I don't trade for anything without a hologram sticker on it. And when I when the new lilies with the hologram sticker on them come, I'm gonna rotate. I'm gonna trade out my old lilies, which are real, and can be verified as real. To I'm gonna buy list it to a store, probably Strike Zone, and then they're gonna give me the new lilies, and I will take a loss on it because the older ones are more expensive. But I would prefer the hollow foils. Anyway, that's it, guys. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.